Born in 1920, the actor, Ralph Meeker, began his journey in the world of entertainment at an early age. He first appeared on Broadway in the 1940s, quickly making a name for himself with his powerful performances. In 1951, the actor made his film debut in a supporting role in the movie Force of Evil. However, it was his performance in the 1955 film Mickey Spillane's Kiss Me Deadly that truly catapulted him to stardom. His portrayal of Detective Mike Hammer was both intense and captivating, earning him critical acclaim and a place in the annals of film history. Throughout his career, the actor appeared in numerous films and television shows, delivering consistently strong performances. He worked with some of the most renowned directors and actors of his time, including Elia Kazan, Marlon Brando, and Rod Steiger. Despite his success, the actor remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to challenge himself with diverse roles, exploring the depths of human emotion and experience. In the 1970s, the actor returned to the stage where he had begun his career. He appeared in several successful Broadway productions, earning praise for his powerful and nuanced performances. Throughout his life, the actor remained a respected and beloved figure in the entertainment industry. His contributions to the world of film and theater will be remembered for generations to come. Actor Ralph Meeker, known for his work in film and television, has had a significant impact on many people's lives. Perhaps you were inspired by one of his performances or found his work particularly memorable. We'd love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. Do you have a personal experience or memory of the actor that has stuck with you? Is there a specific moment from one of his works that has resonated with you? We would love to hear about it in the comments below. Whether you were captivated by his performances on stage or screen, or simply appreciate his contributions to the world of entertainment, we would love to hear your thoughts. As we delve into the life and career of this accomplished actor, we'll uncover many funny, shocking, and sad facts. So be sure to keep watching to learn more about the man behind the performances. Once again, we invite you to share your memories and stories about the actor in the comments below. Let's celebrate the enduring legacy of this classic star together. Born in 1920 in Minneapolis, the actor had a modest upbringing. His father was a lawyer, while his mother was a homemaker. The family later moved to California, where he spent his formative years. As a child, he developed an interest in acting, inspired by his grandmother, a former stage actress. The actor's early exposure to the craft came through high school drama clubs and local theater productions. He was also an athlete, playing football in high school, which later helped him in his physical roles in films. After high school, he joined the Merchant Marine during World War II, but his love for acting never waned. After the war, he studied at the Actors Lab in Los Angeles, where he honed his skills under the guidance of renowned acting coaches. One of his key mentors was Ilya Kazan, the acclaimed director who cast him in the Broadway production of Tea and Sympathy. Kazan's emphasis on method acting had a profound influence on the actor's approach to his craft. Another significant influence was Lee Strasberg, the influential acting teacher who founded the Actors Studio in New York. The actor became a member of the studio, where he further developed his skills under Strasberg's tutelage. The actor's early career included roles in live television and on Broadway, where he gained critical acclaim for his performances. His breakout film role came in 1955 with The Big Knife, where he played a morally conflicted movie star. The role established him as a leading man and paved the way for more significant roles in films like Paths of Glory and The Killers. The actor, Ralph Meeker, was born on November 21, 1920, in Minneapolis, Minnesota. His father, Ralph P. Meeker, was a lawyer, and his mother, Helen R. Meeker, was a schoolteacher. Meeker's family moved frequently during his childhood, and he spent his early years in various cities, including Chicago, Detroit, and New York. Meeker's interest in acting began during his time at the University of Minnesota, where he studied drama. After leaving college, he moved to New York City to pursue a career in theater. Meeker's early stage work included productions of A Streetcar Named Desire and Death of a Salesman. In the 1950s, Meeker transitioned to film and quickly gained recognition for his rugged good looks and tough guy persona. He appeared in a number of notable films, including Kiss Me Deadly, The Dirty Dozen, and Paths of Glory. Meeker's performances were often marked by a simmering intensity and a willingness to take on complex and morally ambiguous characters. Throughout his career, Meeker was known for his dedication to his craft and his ability to bring depth and nuance to his roles. He continued to work in both film and theater until his death in 1988. 
Meeker's early life experiences, including his peripatetic childhood and his training in theater, helped shape his career as an actor. His ability to convey complex emotions and to bring depth to his characters made him a standout in a competitive industry. Despite his passing, Meeker's contributions to the world of film and theater continue to be celebrated and studied by aspiring actors and film enthusiasts alike. From a young age, the actor showed a keen interest in performing. He was part of his high school's drama club and often took the lead in school plays. However, it was during his time in the military that he discovered his true passion for acting. While stationed in Germany, the actor was discovered by a talent scout who was impressed by his performance in a bass play. The scout encouraged him to pursue a career in acting, and after leaving the military, he took the scout's advice and moved to New York City to study at the prestigious actor's studio. His time at the actor's studio was pivotal for the actor's career. He honed his craft under the guidance of renowned acting coaches like Lee Strasberg and Elia Kazan. The actor's natural talent and dedication quickly caught the attention of casting directors, and he soon landed his first film role in the 1951 movie Force of Evil. The actor's passion for acting only grew from there. He appeared in numerous films and television shows throughout his career, delivering memorable performances in classics like Kiss Me Deadly and Paths of Glory. Despite facing challenges and setbacks along the way, the actor remained dedicated to his craft and continued to push himself as an artist. In the end, it was the actor's unwavering passion for performing that made him a standout talent in the industry. He will always be remembered for his contributions to the world of film and television, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire aspiring actors to this day. In the film The St. Valentine's Day Massacre, the original choice for the role of George Clarence Bugs Morin was Jason Robards Jr., but he ended up playing Al Capone instead. The studio Fox didn't think Orson Welles, who was initially picked for Capone, was directable, so they replaced him with Robards. The studio then brought in Ralph Meeker to take on the role of Morin. In The Naked Spur, Ralph Meeker starred alongside James Stewart and Robert Ryan, all of whom had a connection to director Robert Aldrich. Aldrich directed Meeker in Kiss Me Deadly and The Dirty Dozen, Stewart in The Flight of the Phoenix, and Ryan in The Dirty Dozen. In Brannigan, the police officer who picks up John Wayne from the Chicago counterfeiter's shack and tells him that the actor's character wants to see him as dubbed, and the voice sounds like John Vernon's. These roles demonstrate the actor's versatility and range from playing a notorious gangster to a uniformed police officer. The actor's ability to bring depth and nuance to his characters has left a lasting impact on the film industry. The actor, born on November 21, 1920, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, faced numerous challenges early in his career. Financial struggles were a constant companion, making it difficult for him to focus solely on his passion for acting. Despite these hardships, he remained steadfast in his pursuit of success in the industry. Skepticism from industry insiders was another hurdle the actor had to overcome. Many questioned his talent and dedication, but he refused to let their doubts deter him. Instead, he used their skepticism as motivation to work even harder and prove them wrong. To make ends meet, the actor took on various jobs outside of acting, such as working as a carpenter and a bartender. These experiences, while challenging, provided him with valuable skills and insights that he would later bring to his acting roles. The actor's resilience and determination paid off when he landed his breakthrough role in the film Picnic in 1955. His performance was widely praised, and he quickly became a sought-after actor in both film and theater. Despite facing numerous obstacles, the actor remained committed to his craft and continued to push boundaries throughout his career. His ability to adapt and overcome challenges is a testament to his strength and perseverance, inspiring aspiring aspiring actors to this day. In the 1972 TV movie, The Night Stalker, the actor who played Bernie Jenks had previously taken on the role of Mike Hammer in the 1955 film Kiss Me Deadly. His co-star, Darren McGavin, had also played Mike Hammer in the 1958 TV show. The music from House of Dark Shadows becomes notably prominent towards the end of The Night Stalker particularly during the intense fight scene between the actor's character and Janos Scorsini. In the same year, the actor appeared in The Food of the Gods, which turned out to be Ida Lupino's penultimate film. Interestingly, the actor would again share the screen with Lupino in her last movie, My Boys Are Good Boys. The actor's career was marked by notable collaborations and the ability to leave an impression in various roles. After serving in World War II, the actor began his career on Broadway, 
but it was his performance in the groundbreaking play Picnic that truly put him on the map. Critics raved about his portrayal of a virile young drifter, and his charisma and raw masculinity were impossible to ignore. In 1951, the actor made his film debut in Between Midnight and Dawn, but it wasn't until his role in the 1955 film The Big Knife that he gained widespread recognition. Directed by Robert Aldrich, the film was a searing critique of Hollywood and show business, and the actor's performance as a troubled movie star was hailed as a tour de force. Aldrich would later say of the actor, he had a quality that was almost frightening. He could be as tough as nails, but there was also a vulnerability about him that made you care what happened to him. The actor's breakthrough role, however, came in 1955 with the film Kiss Me Deadly. As private detective Mike Hammer, the actor brought a new level of intensity and grit to the film noir genre. His portrayal of the hard-boiled detective was a game-changer, and the film is now considered a classic of the genre. Critic Pauline Kael would later write, The actor's performance in Kiss Me Deadly is a revelation. He brings a dangerous, unpredictable edge to the role that is absolutely mesmerizing. The actor's career continued to flourish throughout the 1950s and 1960s with notable performances in films such as Paths of Glory and The Caretakers. He also returned to the stage, earning critical acclaim for his performances in plays like A View from the Bridge and Marat Saad. Despite his success, the actor remained humble and dedicated to his craft. As he once said, I've been lucky enough to work with some amazing directors and actors, and I've learned something from each and every one of them. I'm just grateful to be able to do what I love. The actor who brought Captain Delaney to life in the Anderson tapes was Ralph Meeker. Interestingly, Delaney was a recurring character in Lawrence Sanders' novels, appearing in five books, including The First Deadly Sin, where Frank Sinatra took on the role. The actor, known for his work in film and theater, had a unique approach to his craft. He believed in fully immersing himself in a role, often conducting extensive research and gathering personal experiences to inform his portrayal. For instance, when preparing for a role as a boxer, he spent time training and learning the movements and mindset of a professional fighter. His process was not just about memorizing lines and blocking, but about understanding the character's motivations and emotions. He would often explore a character's backstory and psychological makeup in great detail, even if some of this information never made it onto the screen. This level of dedication and attention to detail allowed him to bring a sense of authenticity and depth to his performances. The actor's personal experiences and worldview also played a significant role in his work. Growing up during the Great Depression, he developed a strong sense of empathy and understanding for those struggling or facing adversity. This perspective is reflected in many of his roles, where he often portrayed characters who were down on their luck or facing difficult challenges. In addition to his natural talent and hard work, the actor was also known for his ability to adapt to different styles and genres. Whether he was performing in a gritty film noir, a Shakespearean play, or a contemporary drama, he brought a consistent level of intensity and commitment to his work. Despite his success, the actor remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to take on new roles and challenges throughout his career, always striving to grow and improve as an artist. His unique approach to acting, grounded in research, empathy, and adaptability, has left a lasting impact on the industry and continues to inspire actors today. After a notable career, the actor Ralph Meeker received a biographical entry in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, Volume 2, 1986-1990. Meeker is best known for his role as Kern in the film The Detective. Interestingly, both Meeker and Frank Sinatra played the character Francis X. Iron Balls Delaney in different movies. Meeker donned a uniform in the Anderson tapes, while Sinatra appeared in plain clothes as a detective in The First Deadly Sin. In The Naked Spur, Meeker shared the screen with James Stewart and Janet Leigh, all of whom have an Alfred Hitchcock connection. Hitchcock directed Stewart in several films, including Rope, Rear Window, The Man Who Knew Too Much, and Vertigo. Meeker appeared in Alfred Hitchcock Presence Revenge, and Lee starred in Psycho. These connections and roles demonstrate the actor's range and versatility in different film genres and under various directors' guidance. The actor, Ralph Meeker, left an indelible mark on the film industry with his unique style and approach to roles. Known for his work in Paths of Glory, Meeker brought a rugged intensity to his performances that captivated audiences. Meeker's influence can be seen in the work of modern actors such as Michael B. Jordan and Ben Foster. 
Jordan, known for his roles in Black Panther and Creed, has cited Meeker as an inspiration for his own approach to acting. Foster, who has starred in films like Hell or High Water, and the program, has also spoken about Meeker's impact on his own career. Industry experts have noted Meeker's ability to bring a sense of realism to his roles. Film critic Jay Hoberman has written that Meeker's performances were marked by a tough, uningratiating presence that was at once naturalistic and stylized. This approach to acting helped to break down barriers between method acting and more traditional styles, paving the way for future actors to experiment with their craft. Meeker's influence can also be seen in the types of stories being told in modern cinema. His work in Paths of Glory, a film that critiques the military establishment and the concept of heroism, helped to usher in a new era of anti-establishment storytelling. Today, films like The Hurt Locker and American Sniper continue to explore these themes, reflecting Meeker's enduring impact on the industry. In addition to his work in film, Meeker was also a respected stage actor. His performance in the original Broadway production of Picnic earned him a Tony Award nomination, further solidifying his status as a versatile and talented performer. Meeker's legacy continues to resonate with audiences and industry professionals alike. His ability to bring a sense of authenticity and intensity to his roles helped to redefine the art of acting, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and influence actors and filmmakers today. After working as an understudy for Henry Fonda in the theater version of Mr. Roberts in 1947, the actor Ralph Meeker made a name for himself in Hollywood. Meeker's portrayal of Roy Anderson in the Western film The Naked Spur gained him recognition, and he would later co-star with Robert Ryan in The Dirty Dozen in 1967. Meeker's talent for playing tough and unyielding characters was also showcased in the film Brannigan, where he played Captain Moretti. Quentin Tarantino has praised the film, stating that any movie that begins with an angry Meeker chewing out John Wayne is worth watching. Meeker's ability to portray complex characters with conviction and intensity has left a lasting impact on the film industry. His contributions to the world of film continue to be celebrated by audiences and filmmakers alike. The actor, known for his rugged good looks and tough guy roles, led a private life outside of the spotlight. He was born in Minnesota in 1920 and grew up during the Great Depression, which no doubt informed his values and work ethic. In his personal life, the actor was known to be a devoted family man. He was married twice and had four children. He enjoyed spending time with his family and often took them on vacations to escape the Hollywood limelight. The actor was also passionate about giving back to his community. He was involved in several charitable organizations, including the Boy Scouts of America, where he served as a troop leader for many years. He believed in the importance of instilling strong values and character in young people. In addition to his charitable work, the actor was also an advocate for animal rights. He was a vegetarian and worked with several animal welfare organizations to promote ethical treatment of animals. Despite his private nature, the actor's personal values often shone through in his work. He was known for playing complex and nuanced characters, often challenging stereotypes and pushing boundaries. His performances were always grounded in authenticity and humanity, reflecting his own values and beliefs. Through his work and philanthropic efforts, the actor left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and the world at large. His legacy continues to inspire and influence actors and filmmakers today. Quentin Tarantino counts him among his favorite actors, and it's easy to see why. This actor's career is dotted with notable performances that have left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. In the first episode of Alfred Hitchcock Presents, titled Revenge, he shared the screen with Vera Miles. The Library of Congress has recognized the significance of his work by selecting three of his films for the National Film Registry. These films, The Naked Spur from 1953, Kiss Me Deadly released in 1955, and Pass of Glory in 1957, are deemed culturally, historically, or aesthetically important. His role in Kiss Me Deadly, a film noir classic, is particularly noteworthy. This actor's ability to breathe life into diverse roles, from westerns to film noir, is a testament to his versatility. His performances have not only entertained audiences, but have also contributed to the rich tapestry of cinematic history. It's no wonder that his work continues to be cherished by film enthusiasts today. The actor Ralph Meeker, known for his work in films like Paths of Glory and on Broadway and Picnic, left behind a legacy of powerful and memorable performances. 
His ability to embody complex characters, often with a rugged intensity, set him apart in the industry. In thinking about the future, it's important to remember that the landscape of entertainment is constantly evolving. New technologies and platforms offer exciting opportunities for aspiring professionals to make their mark. However, the core principles of the craft remain the same. For those looking to follow in Meeker's footsteps, the actor would likely emphasize the importance of training and preparation. Mastering the fundamentals of acting is crucial as it provides a solid foundation upon which to build a career. Additionally, Meeker might encourage aspiring actors to be versatile and open to new experiences. Taking on a variety of roles and exploring different genres can help young actors develop their skills and discover their unique strengths. Finally, Meeker would likely remind aspiring professionals to stay true to themselves and their artistic vision. In an industry that can often feel overwhelming, it's essential to remain grounded and focused on one's own goals and aspirations. In short, Meeker's legacy serves as a reminder of the power of dedication, hard work, and artistic integrity. By following in his footsteps and embracing the opportunities of the future, aspiring actors can make their own mark on the industry and continue to inspire and captivate audiences for generations to come. In 1955, the actor gave a notable performance in the film Noir Kiss Me Deadly, where he took on the role of Mike Hammer. That same year, he also appeared in the low-budget prison drama Big House. USA, interestingly, he shared a scene with Robert Bray, who had played Mike Hammer two years earlier in My Gun Is Quick. This highlights the actor's versatility, as he was able to convincingly portray the same character as another actor, while also showcasing his range in a different genre. The actor's portrayal of Mike Hammer in Kiss Me Deadly is often considered one of the most memorable and impactful in the history of film noir. Despite this, his performance in Big House, USA should not be overlooked, as it demonstrates his ability to excel in a variety of roles. Born in 1920, the actor's journey began on the stage before transitioning to the screen. With a passion for storytelling, he chose roles that challenged him, constantly innovating and pushing boundaries. His work in film noir and theater left a lasting impact on both industries. In the 1950s, he starred in the show that would become a classic, showcasing his ability to portray complex characters. Despite facing obstacles, his perseverance shone through, leading to more opportunities and accolades. Throughout his career, the actor collaborated with renowned directors and actors, further elevating his craft. He never shied away from taking risks, always eager to explore new aspects of his artistry. Even when faced with setbacks, the actor's creativity and determination carried him through. His enduring impact can be seen in the generations of actors who have followed in his footsteps. In the end, the actor's journey serves as a powerful reminder of the power of creativity and perseverance. His ability to captivate audiences and leave a lasting impression is a testament to his talent and dedication. The actor's life took a tragic turn in 1978 when he suffered a severe head injury during a mugging incident, which led to a significant decline in his career. Despite the setback, he continued to work in smaller roles in both film and television. However, the injury left him with lasting effects, and he passed away in 1988 due to complications from the attack. This shocking event cut short the career of a talented and dedicated actor who left a lasting impact on the industry. As a dedicated actor, the film Paths of Glory showcases his undeniable talent, his portrayal of a military lawyer investigating a controversial court-martial during World War one left a lasting impression. In a cold wind in August, the actor demonstrated his versatility, delivering a captivating performance as a drifter who becomes involved with an older woman. Throughout his career, he graced both the big and small screens, leaving an indelible mark in shows like Mike Hammer and The New Breed. His work continues to resonate with audiences, a testament to his enduring impact on the world of entertainment. Let's celebrate his legacy by sharing our thoughts on his memorable roles and the shows that shaped his career. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content that highlights the creative spirits shaping the entertainment